the next president in that vision, Tinubu was removed from office. Tinubu was no longer president in that vision. But the man with the blue abada, the blue apparel, was General Babangida. Watch out for him. And he's about to, he's about to shift power. Hello, wonderful followers and subscribers of Oligo Sun. I hope this video finds you well. Guy, I've got good news for us all. Babangida boys, Ibrahim Babangida boys within the army, they are set to take over power from Pablo Escobar. Guys, I want you to understand something. You know, Northern uh, Ed does not, and they be seriously against Pablo Escobar. They are seriously against Pablo Escobar, aka Tifnubu. I'm sure some of you are aware. So, so many underground work is going on. Now, I saw the prophecy of this guy. One would have thought that this guy would be scared of releasing such prophecy. After the other pastor, I forgot his name, Faith Daniel, was, you know, uh, Tinubu jailing, you know, uh, the set him up again because of the prophecy release. Now, this guy released again. The truth is, you cannot silence God. As a human being, irrespective of who you are, trying to silence God that to buy before your time. You understand? So this prophecy, I listened to it, is deep, is deep. Very, 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 very deep. Military are set to kick out Pablo Escobar. Now, please, you have to watch this video to the end to get the message. But please do me a favor. Before you watch this video, help me like it so that Facebook and YouTube can recommend it to others. Also, please, guys, help me share this video. Thanks and God bless you. I will see you in my next video. What the Lord is saying. Thursday, I went to bed. On Wednesday night until Thursday, I went to bed after prayers. And just before the 5 a.m. prayer, at exactly 2.57, because I wrote it down and I kept it up. At exactly 2.57, the Spirit of God woke me from a deep revelation. And I want to thank God that He is the revealer of the deep and the secret things. The Lord said to me, do you remember when I showed you about some military men, some military Nigerian generals who were going to a place in Nije, in a cave, to plan. And the Lord reminded me, and I want the media to find that video, where I prophesied, I think it was, I don't know whether it was during the lockdown, 2020, when I prophesied from the studio, I said the Lord showed me that there were some men, and some Nigerian generals, going to a cave in Nije to plan and to plot taking power in Nigeria. At that same period, I prophesied that I saw a revolution of young men seizing power from the old men in West Africa. I mean, if you remember, now what's happening in West Africa? Burkina Faso, Mali, all the countries have been invaded now by what? Young rulers. The Lord went on to tell me, Lord, he says, son, I want to show you something. Then this is what the Lord showed me. And please, Nigeria, get ready. Last Sunday, I told you that the first one of the month of um, November, I said, there is a shaking that is coming to the nation. I said I was going to tell you during the crossover service, but the Lord gave me the details now. I said, speak now. I saw in a dream, a new arm rose up in a dream, in the midst of a cloud. But this arm stood out uniquely amongst the crowd. As I looked deeply, the cloud became a cloud of military uniforms. And right in the middle was a distinctively bright blue colored apparel that was worn by this horn. So meaning the horn was surrounded by a cloud of military uniform. But this this, this horn became so distinctively um, 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 separated from the cloud of this military uniform because of its bright blue what, apparel. In, in Nigeria, the apparel I'm talking about is called Agbada. It's like a big lot you put like that. So it made this um, on stand out distinctively. He suddenly, this on suddenly lifted up his head, but his face was not fully revealed. His focus was, so the focus of this on was a group of individuals that were across the field these individuals included kings, senators, governors, and what was an ex-Nigerian -pres president. And all of this focus, they were all Yorubas. 
So this on focus on some people who were across the field, ex-presidents, kings, senators, politicians, and they were all Yoruba politicians. So meaning this man stood where in the north, surrounded by military uniform, and he had a blue agbada, meaning a blue apparel, and his focus was in some group of men across the field. They were all politicians, but based from the western part of Nigeria, all Yorubas. This man then spoke. And his voice came with so much power, so much authority, as he addressed these Yoruba social political elites, saying, I am here to rule, and I won't allow or permit any of you looting and staying unaccountable to the resources of this nation, or concerning the resources of this nation. From this moment onwards, if I come into knowledge of a Naira, Naira is a Nigerian currency missing from the West, meaning Lagos. Whilst I am in power, my full wrath shall be felt. As he spoke, the Lord started showing me he grew more in power. This on grew more. His voice made all of these politicians, kings, and ex president tremble in fear into their shells. Child of God. Then the Lord opened my eyes, and then the ons, this ons identity was truly revealed. Now there were two revelations there. The, the, the ex-president in that vision, Tinubu was removed from office. Tinubu was no longer president in that vision. But the man with the blue abada, the blue apparel, was General Babangida. Watch out for him. And he's about to, he's about to shift power in Nigeria. This one's identity was fully revealed to me, and his name is General Ibrahim Babangida. Nigerians, thus says the Lord, pray because a shaking is coming that will rock the political climate of the nation once again. A political force is coming from the north that is strategically backed by General Ibrahim Babangida. Let he that has years. Yeah, what the Lord is saying to the church. Church, we're going to rise up and we're going to pray for Nigeria.